Hey guys, it's Matt with Make Money Online. We are back here with Get Response, and I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to build a sales funnel. I'll walk you through the steps. Let's dive right in. All right, so first up, we're here at the dashboard where we can see where everything is laid out for us. We've got um, quick actions and website stats, tips and tricks, newsletters, conversion funnel stats. It's kind of like the baseline page that you get to when you first log in. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into tools and get this conversion funnel going. So we're going to go down here to conversion funnel, select that, and we have no funnels. So we're going to create one, create funnel. So when you first create your funnel, you are given a bunch of different choices. It depends on what kind of business you're running and what kind of funnel that you need to build. So we could either build a list, which is going to be your mailing list of either subscribers or just people that are interested in your product or service, um, of which you can either do a lead magnet funnel or standard, op standard opt-in funnel. Um, you could sell a product if you're pushing for a product. It could be shirts or tools or toys, anything like that. Um, and we have the option between a full sales funnel where you could get new contacts and start building with an email list and sending them products and stuff. Or you could just take people right into your sales page. Um, what's nice about this whole funnel system is that you can really customize it to whatever your needs are. Um, so the next option here is the webinar. So if you're doing like an online service for any kind of webinar, um, you could do either free or paid. They're going to give you the tools that you need to set this up. So let's go ahead and jump in for building a list because let's pretend that we are a gym and we're pushing for uh, yoga for dads. That's going to be my thing. I don't know why I'm choosing that, but we're going to go with it. So um, let's say that we are creating a lead magnet funnel. We want to give our visitor, visitors a valuable resource in exchange for their email. So we want to be able to email them over time with new deals and offers for more classes. So let's go ahead and do this yoga for dads. Save and continue. So here we get to choose what kind of lead magnet we want to use. Um, they give you a bunch of different, tutor, uh, different templates that you could choose from, um, like how to plan and send your first email marketing or 10 steps to understanding content marketing. All of these templates are geared towards sales and marketing. So you're going to have to like maneuver them for whatever it is that you're actually doing. Um, I don't know why they default to this because in my opinion, it's a little confusing, but um, they kind of give you all these choices that you can choose from. You can even add your and, and basically do your own. You can start from scratch or if you have an existing uh, funnel that you're bringing over from a different system, like maybe you're bringing stuff over from Thrivecart or ConvertBox or ConvertKit or whatever, this allows you to kind of like bring those elements into here and you can build from that. Um, so let's go ahead and do the second option here. So we've got our funnel creation page. So this is what's going to walk you through the process of creating your first funnel. Um, so first up, we're going to create our sign up page. We're going to create a download page. Maybe we do some sort of like giveaway guide for like poses or how to gain flexibility in your legs or something like that. Um, we're going to create an email, which is going to go out to our list. Um, and then we are going to watch the results and we're going to see how many people open the email, how many people are clicking links, all that good stuff, all the analytics, it's given to you here. Um, also, you have the option of creating an ad. So if you need a, a method of pulling that traffic in, let's say you are starting from scratch and you know that there's a really good market for people searching for a specific exercise or type of workout um, and the money works out where it's a good deal for you to pay per click, um, you can also add that in and link that to this as well, which is kind of cool. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that though. Let's start with our sign up page and get this going. Um, so at first we are given a bunch of different templates that we can work with. 
and you're really just going to go through and look and see if there's anything that more or less resembles the look that you're going for. So if we're in the fitness niche and we're trying to build something that's kind of, uh, I think, kind of basic, um, we want to sell knowledge. So let's go ahead. Let's try this sell knowledge online option here. We're going to call this, uh, let's see, enter our name for the sign up page. Let's just call it yoga sign up and that's going to be our a preview of our landing page and this is going to be our thank you page so next step on this page you're given the opportunity to basically customize this however you see fit so if you have a logo you can drop the logo in um, you just drag it in you can upload it uh, let's see you can um, you can edit the text to say like here's your um, uh, flexibility guide for getting ready for yoga, something like that. And we can actually resize this so that it looks good. And let's center this up. Looks good. And we could call this like yoga for dads, who would think, right? Um, uh, unlock your full potential. I don't know. Uh, we could change the image here. Although, yeah, you could just swap this out. You could replace it with something else. Um, you could delete it entirely. It's really up to you. You have a, an undo button here. Um, it's really up to you how you want to build this out. Uh, personally, when you're starting out and you this, if this is like your first funnel, which I feel like this is probably a, the truth, the, the case for most people, is um, just more or less leave it be. Simple is best. Always go with the simpler option. So, you know, if you're going to do anything, take away, don't add. Don't add because it's, it's very easy. You could start adding in all kinds of buttons and stuff. Um, if you want to go crazy and, you know, you can actually start messing with the formula that they give you, which is great, but at the same time, like, you might be hurting yourself. Um, so that's why I, I recommend if this is, like, a new thing for you, um, just start small, take it easy, keep things simple. You can drop in testimonials if you want, if you have them, um, and then... Again, we're trying to get them to download our guide. So we could just have our closing argument or statement why somebody would want to download your lead magnet. Um, so this is a very simplistic tool. It's, in my opinion, really awesome. You can, you know, drop text in wherever you need to. You could drop in buttons. You could do shapes. Um, you could do webinar stuff you know, like links to, to get people signed up for an upcoming webinar, uh, YouTube videos, PayPal, if you want people to actually, like if they're buying a product, let's say you're doing like the perfect push-up or yoga mats or something like that, you could have literally a PayPal button in here as well and just have people like buying your yoga mats because they're going to need that for the class, something of that nature. Um, you can also create a mobile version, which is pretty awesome. And as you can see, this is what it's going to look like. It looks pretty reasonable. Um, you could jump into the HTML code if you need to. We also have settings here. We could like mess around with cookies and Facebook and favicons, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, let's go ahead. I'll show you guys the thank you page as well. Um, and again, you could kind of like figure this out um, and make it however you see fit. Um, let's go ahead to the next step here. And we can make this, uh, so we can write our description, which was, it's the same as what was in the settings, but we could say like, uh, opt-in page for uh, yoga dads. Um, we can tell Google not to index this page in case we, for whatever reason, are saving that. Um, and we've got our page URL. Um, you could assign your own domain, which is kind of cool. So like if you own the domain to yogadads.com, you could have that as part of the URL. Um, 
it just requires you to like verify with your hosting uh you just got to change the c name thing um what else subscription settings goes to a default thank you page you could do a custom page you could do analytics and remarketing so like if you're using google analytics or tag manager facebook pixel you name it the integrations are here um, if you're doing paid ads and that's your traffic method, you're pulling them into the funnel with paid ads, you could also do conversion tracking with Google, uh, Google ads. So you can actually see that somebody has made it through to the end of your funnel, which is kind of cool too. Um, and then you could also do chats. So you could allow people to talk to you as if they're, as they're viewing the offer. This is like an excellent way to get people that are on the fence a little further into your funnel because they can actually ask you in real time questions about the product that you're offering or the service that you're doing. We've got our landing page, so that's a landing page creation. Further down here in the funnel, we could see how many people are signing up for the funnel. Uh, you got your sign up rate, contacts, how many people are filling in the form, exit pop ups, stuff of that nature. So, this is more of a data driven result of the landing page that's why it's grown by one section um say thanks and share your file create a page where your contacts can download your file so this is the download page uh, which we can either stay with the same design that we were set already using um, or you could change it up and do your own template again completely up to you uh, for your aesthetics i'm going to with what I've been using. Click here to download the file. Very, very simple. Um, again, if you want to do like buy now pages or you know you want people to be able to share this and tweet this or whatever it is, you can do it on the side here and make this the download page whatever you need it to be. Again, I recommend you keep things simple and just give them the guide or whatever it is that you're going to give them. So let's go ahead and get back to the here we go. So this is the this is uh, okay. So this does go in the site description. But let's say we really want people to opt in, and we don't want them to find this on Google. We'll just check off. Don't index in search engines. I don't care if they index the opt-in page. I care if they index the download page because we want to get the capture. Um, chat window. You could turn that back on if you want, or whatever. So let's go ahead and publish this. And now you can see that we also have a, an additional thing here for connecting your contacts. Send them a welcome email. So now it's grown a little further. Create an email. So this is going to be your autoresponder. This is like the drip method where you're, you're starting to seed out messages. So it's like welcome welcome yogis subject uh, your first workout from you could change this email address to anything it could be info at your domain or whatever distribution settings where you can like do e-commerce tracking google analytics twitter etc and we could choose our template again completely up to you whatever works for you um, or you could do plain text if you just want to write a plain message um, or if you're importing something from another service you can drop the HTML code right into here and there you go I mean that's basically the bottom line on creating your first conversion funnel so that's going to conclude this tutorial if this was helpful please let me know in the comments down below if there's something you want to see also let me know and we will be back with the next tutorial very soon